Hey guys, uh, these are my pickups for December 2010. So let's get started. We have Annihilator, Alice in Hell. Annihilator, Waking the Fury. Fiend Without a Face on the video. The Cult, The Enemy Within. The Very Best of Kansas. James Labrie, Static Impulse. RC Pro-Am for NES. Fate's Warning, Parallels. House. I've already seen my review of it. Poultry Geist, Night of the Chicken Dead on Blu-ray. See my review of that as well. Botched. The original one of Stranger Calls. Castlevania Curse of Darkness on PS2. Castlevania The Adventure for the original Game Boy. Nevermore in Memory, original EP. Symphony XV, The New Mythology Suite. John Carpenter's They Live, starring Rowdy Roddy Piper, Super Inframan, Jack Ketchum's The Girl Next Door on Blu-ray, City of the Living Dead from Lucio Fulci. Ring of Honor, Best in the World. Nightmare City from Umberto Lenzi, who directed Cannibal Ferox. Angry Video Game Nerd Volume 3. And to go along with that, Volume 4. Buried in the Sand of Deception of America. Trans Siberian Orchestra Night Castle. Picked this up at the show, which was phenomenal. Judas Priest Demolition, which I believe is the last record with Ripper Owens on it. The Ingve Malmstein Collection. 2001 Maniac, starring Robert England, remake of Herschel Gordon Lewis's 2000 Maniacs, Chud, or Cannibalistic Humanoid Underground Dwellers, Halloween 4 and 5 2-pack, Boros Karloff and the Mummy, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, the gruesome edition. The Toxic Avenger and Other Traumatic Tales graphic novel. Quite ridiculous. We have Kansas Left Overture on vinyl. Then we have Eternus, A Darker Monument, Demi Borgir, Abra Hadabra, Epica, this is The Divine Conspiracy,
Soil Works, Sworn to a Great Divide, the two disc limited edition. And with this last one, I was a big fan of these guys when I was in my early stages of middle school. Then I got out of them because everything started sounding repetitive and it didn't appeal to me anymore. But I had heard some stuff from this new album and I, th I thought it sounded good, like it actually got my attention and thought it was worth listening to, so I got it and I actually enjoy this one. Coming from a non-fan, this is a, a pretty damn good record. And that is Slipknot, All Hope is Gone. Again, I'm not a Slipknot fan. I was diehard when I was 14 or 13. But coming from a non-fan, this is a badass record. Alright, that's my stuff from December. This will probably how it's going to be monthly from now on. Alright, take care guys. Thanks for watching.